They should probably be in the back, shouldn't they? Oh, wait, wait, Kentaro just went inside. Wait, he just went inside. We can't go inside, though. He's in the house. Oh, he, he went to bed in the house. <laughs> Hello, little rainbows and welcome back to another episode of the royal family so in this episode we are going to be doing several things so first we're going to have Sadira have her baby because I'm pretty sure she is about to go into labor and then we are going to go to the Oasis Springs royal family because we're gonna age up Prince Manuel of Oasis Springs he's turning into a child because I realized he was supposed to turn into a child a while ago so he's kind of overdue for that and then we're going to be focusing on the Glimmerbrook royal family. So we're gonna get to do all of that in this episode. So it might be a little bit of a busy episode, but I'm super excited because we don't really get to focus on the Glimmerbrook royal family much. Look at Sadira, she's so pregnant. I love her. I love this outfit on her too. Probably have everyone get inside. It is finally spring. I feel like it's been winter forever, but it's finally spring. And then I also did finally replace the rooms that were here for the wedding because I still had these decorated for Prince Johan and for Sadira's wedding from a while ago so I did replace that so now it is back to normal I had originally decorated this or redecorated this foyer when we had the wedding and I forgot to save that so I don't like this that we have right now so I need to go back and fix it I had a lot of the vintage glamour items in there and it just looked really pretty because I feel like the inside doesn't completely match the outside of the palace but I still like it a lot it's just very small so I need to figure out how to expand some rooms and stuff to. Okay, so Sadira is now going into labor. So she's having her baby. Oh, she's like, yes, I'm so excited. All right, so we're gonna have her have her baby. I'm looking forward to seeing what she's having, you guys. I'm so excited to see if it's a boy or a girl. Okay, so Sadira had a girl, you guys. Oh, okay, Johan and Sadira had their first baby girl. It's their second baby. So I am going to name her, and I've never done this before, but I am going to name her two names. So Molly Gray. Race is what I'm going to name her because I just think that's so cute and I've heard that name before and I love it so much. I love the name Molly too. So I just thought just princess wise, I don't know. I heard that Molly in like medieval times used to be short for Mary or Margaret. I think it was actually short, short for Mary. It was a nickname for Mary. And I thought the Grace added to it sounded really pretty too. So I will change her name to Princess Molly Grace when she turns into a toddler, but I can't do that while she's a baby. So this is their first baby girl. I'm so excited. But yeah, I think this is all the babies they're going to be having. But yay, okay. So this is Princess Molly Grace. I'm excited to see what she's gonna look like when she's older. I love Prince Frederick. I think he's so cute and he's so adorable. Oh, she's already crying. Okay, so I'm gonna have her take care of her. Maybe you should change her diaper and feed her. Okay, next we are going to the Oasis Springs Palace and it's perfect. So I think we're gonna have a little daytime birthday party for Prince Manuel. So I'll go over some things while we're at the Oasis Springs Palace because I do need to cover some stuff with Charlotte and Harmony too. So we'll get to that. All right, we are at the Oasis Springs Royal Palace. So I, I know it's really early early in the morning, but I'm just going to go ahead and have us start the birthday party. So I will have a Queen Nea go ahead and plan that. All right, so our birthday party has started. So here we have Charlotte. So episodes ago, several episodes ago, I mentioned, or I mean, it was basically the main point of the episode was that Charlotte and her mother Harmony are trying to get revenge on the royal family of Oasis Springs because of what Queen Lindsay, which is Nea's mother, what they, what she did to Harmony and to Charlotte. So Charlotte, she's never met Queen Lindsay as an adult. She only met her when she was a toddler. Oh, okay. Well, they're kind of treating Charlotte as their child, but okay, whatever. Um, So Charlotte is, she's still a teenager actually, but she is the royal nanny and she has gained the trust of Philip and Nea. And her mother, Harmony, has kind of been talking to her about a few things because now that she has gained their trust, she knows where the whole family is at all times. And actually, Queen Dowager Lindsay will be at the party too. So she's going to be here, but Harmony will not be. But basically Harmony and Charlotte, well, mostly Harmony, she has hired some people and she's looking into hiring. Oh my gosh, Belle, you're naked again. Oh, I need to pick out a new outfit for her. I keep forgetting to change her outfits. Okay, she's good. Okay, so what was I saying? So Harmony, she has hired some sketchy people to help her with her plan. And I'm actually going to be doing, so you 
guys will get to see their plan in the next episode and I am going to be downloading a mod for their plan too so you guys will get to see that as well. I'm a little worried to do it because it's a pretty intense mod so I think I don't know what you guys are gonna think. It should be interesting. I'm worried about it. I just hope nothing goes wrong basically but anyway so Dean who is a Harmony sister and he's also married to Princess Leilana of Sulani so he's starting to try to back out of the plan a little bit because he's worried about where it's going and he's worried that something's going to happen and that people are going to get hurt and like he doesn't like Lindsay either because of what she did to his sister and his niece but he's still very hesitant about it and he's kind of been debating telling his wife Leilana about it too so that's kind of the situation they're in so we'll get to explore that a little bit more in the next episode but okay so we are going to have I have pre-made the birthday cake so we're gonna open this we are going to bring Prince Manuel here to blow out the candles so we're going to help blow out candles Prince Manuel so I'm excited to see what he's going to look like as a child so this is their last toddler to age up they have so many children so now the youngest is aging up into a child and I was double checking to see how long Arya and Cornelius had because they're the same age so I was looking to see how long they have till they age up and they got a lot of time you guys they have so much time before they age up so I don't know if that's gonna be anytime soon I might kind of rush that a little bit but we'll kind of see how it goes okay so Naya is bringing Manuel to blow the candles so he's going to age up into a child I'm really excited to see what he's going to look like he has his father's eyes too like Arya they both have the purple purple eyes whereas Kimberly and Aisha they have like more brownish purple eyes so they or he has aged up into a uh no not a toddler he's aged up into a child so now we're going to pick his aspiration so he was wild as a child he's also the youngest and he's the only boy I feel like he would be pretty wild. He's got a lot of sisters to tell him how to treat girls, so that's good. But we are going to, let's do the motor aspiration. And then why don't we do, is there like a playful or a active aspiration? Oh, there is an active. Okay, yeah. So let's make him active just because he was wild as a kid. Okay. So he has now aged up into a child. I think I'm going to pick his outfits really quick. But yeah, well, why don't we go ahead and do that? Okay, for time's sake, I just picked his party outfit, but this is Prince Manuel, so I'll probably make a few changes to his outfit, but this is basically the outfit he had on as a child, so I just picked it for him as a, or no, that he had on as a toddler, so now he has it on as a child. Yeah, so he is super cute. I'm excited to see what he looks like when he grows up. I'm excited to see what all the girls look like when they grow up too. I actually don't know where most of our party guests went. I don't see them anywhere. So I just had a Princess Arya add him to the kids club group. So a lot of like no one's here actually. There's barely anybody here. I see Amira and Johan and then I saw Princess Belle and I don't see anybody else so that's kind of sad. I was actually planning on having a kids club gathering when we go to the Glimmerbrook Royal Palace so I think we'll just go ahead and go there because it doesn't look like anyone really showed up here. So yeah we'll go ahead and do that so I'll end this birthday party. It wasn't a great birthday party but we did what we needed to. We aged up Prince Manuel. We actually got a gold medal for that birthday party so that's interesting that <laughs> we barely did anything but we now are going to go to the Glimmerbrook Royal family. So I actually realized I think there was supposed to be like I think this was supposed to be symmetrical and I think there was supposed to be a building here too but somehow got deleted just because of the way the terrain is placed I think I need to fix this just slightly it's very unfortunate that Glimmerbrook only comes with a 40 by 30 lot because I couldn't really do much with it so if you guys saw I have showed this I think in the 100th episode of the royal family I showed their palace and then I also showed their palace a lot in my realm of magic series too so if you guys saw that then you've seen the Glimmerbrook palace a lot. I have most of the palace underground. So it's like you walk up here and then we have, I guess, the throne room technically. And then we got these stairs that go downstairs. And then this is the, like, oh, okay. This is the palace. So we have the main, like this would technically be the first floor of a house, I guess. And then we have like the living room area and kitchen. And we have like a little tea room over here too. And oh, that reminds me, there's a mod. And I think it's an, el an elders mod or like better elders 
elders mod or something but it comes with a like almost like a tea party like a high tea time and i kind of just want the i just want the event well, i guess i could have the other stuff too it would be fine there's like a seniors night you can do and all that but there is a tea party event which makes me so happy so i might do something like that we'll just have to see i'll have to test it out you guys can let me know if you want me to do a mod review on that i still need to do my mods video but because i'm using the mods in the next step or the new mod in the next episode i was debating it just waiting till after that so i could include that mod in my favorite mods thing or if I'll just do it separately. So I'm kind of debating, but let me know what you guys think about the tea party thing. We'll, we'll kind of figure it out. I can just have an episode where there's a tea party in it. But anyway, okay, so this is the first floor and then the second, second floor. It's like the lowest level of the palace, but this is where all the bedrooms are too. I do have a good amount of custom, like this is custom content, that's custom content. I got these from the gallery and I don't know how, I guess they're not custom content, but I have no idea how people do these for their photos and stuff but it's really, really cool and it's really pretty. So we are now going to invite the kids club over. I know I need to fill this area out too. It's just like a really big hallway and it could use a lot in here probably. So I'll get to that later on. But yeah, this is what I have for their palace for now. This is also uploaded to the gallery. I also, oh, I know you guys want me to upload. Yeah, okay, so I'll do this by the time the video is out. Check my gallery. My gallery ID is the real mirror ray or you you can search hashtag mirror ray royals and i'll put that information in the description below as well i will upload the glimmerbrook royal family the updated one and i'll also upload the windenburg royal family although i also have to upload them again when diana is a teenager which would be pretty soon so ha that's fine i'll do that i'll do it again so yeah i'll have them uploaded as well i also just had araminta invite over prince charles so he's about to come over too so we now have the kids here why don't i have them like hang out over here or something. So I think that with Prince Takshi, I want to see who he is close. Oh, it doesn't look like a lot of people have come yet. So maybe I should wait a little bit. Okay. So Charles is here. So I'm going to have Araminta and Charles. They can hang out in her room. That's fine. So why don't we go ahead, sit and chat here. And then we have all the little kids. Oh, they're making, oh my gosh, they're making a huge mess. Okay. Well, um, <laughs> let's not do this. Let's not do this right now. They're both the princesses. They're both Genevieve of Willow Creek and then Juliet of Willow Creek. They're making a mess in their house. They need to stop. I do think that Takashi, so I was trying to think if maybe he would be good with one of the little princesses of Willow Creek, just because Corinne has been close with their family. So, which is their mother, by the way, if you didn't know that. Um, so I was wondering that, but I'm not 100% sure. I know that with Anya, so it looks like she's just hanging out in her room by herself, but with Anya, so she knows that her father has been thinking about an arranged marriage with her and Cornelius. So Cornelius is not going to be a teenager for a while, so I can't really do that many interactions with her and Cornelius. I'm trying to see if they have any, I think I can see on here, I don't know what their relationship is like or, oh, Wait, she not have a relationship with Cornelius at all? I thought she knew him. Mm, okay, well, I don't know if they actually have a relationship going on, but I was trying to think. So I think that with Anya, I don't know. I think she just wants to be the queen or the empress of Glimmerbrook. And I'm trying, I think that she is trying to devise a plan on how she can do that. So she's got some plotting things going on. So I don't know exactly how far she would go. I don't think she would go as far as killing her sister. I hope not and I don't think that's gonna happen because I love Araminta so much but I'm sure she would do something very drastic and I was like I remember hearing about a lot of Asian culture uh, with the royals like the things that they would do some of the royals like the empress empresses or emperors they would kill their children because they were worried about them becoming the empress or overthrowing them or something like that so I was like oh my gosh like I, there's some horror stories seriously if you want to look it up you can but I'm not gonna say all of it. I also think that Araminta might not be completely as sweet as I said, because I like, yes, she, well, I think mostly just she has better intentions than Anya does, obviously. But for Ara 
Araminta, it's just that like she grew up with this completely evil sister and I'm sure Anya has tried to pull things on her and it's just so rude to her. So I think Araminta has her own backbone and I think she is strong and especially strong enough to where her father thinks that she's fit to run the kingdom, which I do think she is. So I think that she is not completely sweet to her sister. Like she definitely stands up to herself against her sister, but her sister is just super, super evil. So I think that's kind of more of the difference between them. So that's kind of what's going on with the kids. So the main thing I wanted to talk about in this episode is, so I've mentioned this in the past. I've mentioned this especially in my Magical Realm series. So for Princess, or not Princess, for Empress Mei Lin and Emperor Zhao, their marriage is not exactly happy. So they were an arranged marriage. Emperor Zhao was still upset and in love with Corinne's mother, Lily, at the time. So if you guys remember, Emperor Zhao was engaged to marry Corinne's mother and then Corinne's mother ran away with her father. So then Emperor Zhao was really upset because he actually really did love her, even though it was an arranged marriage. And then he ended up marrying Mei Lin, which was his parents' second option for an arranged marriage. And he doesn't, I mean, like, he'd never really loved Mei Lin and Mei Lin did, I think she tried at first, but he, I mean, Emperor Zhao doesn't give her that much attention. And also he doesn't really allow her to help him with things with running the kingdom. So their marriage is not exactly a happy one. And we're actually gonna have, cause it is the middle of the night. So Empress Mei Lin, she is going to go and meet someone. So I mentioned this in my, how to create your own or my noble system. I forgot what it was called, but my nobles video where I explained my noble, oh, that's it, explaining my nobles in that video. So I said that I did end up adding the noble titles for Glamourbrook and for Selva Dorada, just because it makes it easier to have the same system for everybody. So just because it is a Sims game and I just want to keep things simple and easy for you guys to understand too and easy for me to understand. So I did end up giving them noble titles as well. So this right here is the Duke of Glimmerbrook and his family. So the Duke, he was a very well-respected general in the Glimmerbrook army. So he and his family, they live over here and we are actually going to have Mei Lin travel because her and the Duke of Glimmerbrook have been in love for a long time. So this is the Duke, Duke Kintaro. So I will have them go ahead and travel because they're going to meet up. And I didn't have their romantic relationship be very high because they have been hiding their relationship for so long, but he is actually a really good friend of the emperor and they've known each other for a very long time. And he, I mean, the emperor appointed him as the Duke. Mei Lin and him, and Mei Lin knows his family very well. They've known each other for a very long time, but it was just like years ago. I mean, she just became so close with him and she would just vent to him about the way Emperor Zhao treated her. And he saw it too. He saw the way that Mei Lin was treated and he always just thought Mei Lin was so amazing and he didn't think that she should be treated that way. So just from that, they saw each other so much and talked so much and they ended up falling in love. So they've been seeing each other for a very long time. So with their relationship, it's just so hard because like we've had affairs going on in the past, but usually the spouse didn't know the person that was, that they were having an affair with. But now Emperor Zhao, he knows Kintara. I mean, that's one of his really good friends. So that makes things super risky with them. And Mei Lin knows his wife too, but with Kintaro and his wife. So they haven't exactly had a happy marriage either. Theirs was also pretty much an arranged marriage. And his kids are really close with Mei Lin's kids. So that makes things really tricky too. They've, I mean, gotten away with it. They usually meet up here. So I mean, this is the only other lot in Glimmerbrook besides there's like a night market. Oh, okay. And that was someone, who is this? Oh no, okay. Well, I can't really see him right now, but that is a random person. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't any of their families. They should probably be in the back, shouldn't they? Oh wait, wait, Kentaro just went inside. Wait, he just went inside. We can't go inside though. He's in the house. Oh, he, he went to bed in the house. It's actually getting to be daytime, so. So I should probably have Empress Mei Lin go home. So I guess we're going to let him sleep there. So I guess technically they do have access to inside the house or at least he does. So I don't know, but yeah, I have not yet because they've been here multiple times in the past. I have not yet to have any of their family members walk by, even though this is pretty close to the family's houses. Like, okay, yeah. So the palace is right over there. And then we have, I think which one is, oops, sorry. I think this, 
That one over there is his house, I believe. No, 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 this one is his house right over here. So it's still pretty close by, but no one has yet seen them or caught them. I think that Mei Lin has also been thinking about leaving Emperor Zhao, but he just has so much power in the kingdom. So I don't even know how their lives would be if that were to work. And also, of course, she loves her kids and he loves his kids too. And I mean, if they just got up and left, I don't know. I think it depends on how miserable they are. We'll have to just see about that. And then, I mean, the kids don't know about it either. You guys are gonna have to let me know what you think because that would be serious abandonment and she would not be a good mother if she did that. I think I'm actually gonna end this episode here, but let me know if you think if they should run away together or how that whole situation is going to work. In the next episode, next episode is gonna be pretty dramatic, you guys. We are going to see what is going to happen with Harmony and Charlotte and their plan against the Oasis Springs Kingdom and Royal Family. Family. So we'll get to see all that in the next episode. But if you enjoyed this episode, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.